Hi everybody, Drake Strong here with Strong Auto Detail and today I'm going to show you a short how-to video of what is and how you can remove those annoying uh, little brown slash rush spots from your vehicle's paint. Okay, so here uh, I'm working on this vehicle today. Uh, I've already done the wash, I've already done the decontamination on the other side, I'll show you here in a minute. But bring you in close, This so I already removed all the dirt and I rinsed it off, so all these uh, there's a lot in this vehicle. All these orange brown spots. All this that you see is uh, actually brake dust. And when, it does, when uh, whenever you hit the brake on your car, uh, a little speck of dust will come off your brake pads and they start floating through the air. And eventually some of them will attach to your paint and other people's paints. So this is a uh, perfectly normal for every car to have, but it can be a little unsightly you know it takes away from the finish that if you listen closely the uh, pink uh, feels rough and you can tell why down here why it feels rough even though the car is wet and clean it's still rough I can feel the bumps beneath my fingertips and even up here you can still feel a little contamination not as much up here as it is down there and a brake dust is always worse behind the tires and on the very back of the vehicle and down here you can see where I've already where I haven't done anything except for the wash on the other side you can see right down here nice behind the same front tire nice and smooth no contamination no rust brown spots I still gotta put the protection on but I'm gonna do that at the very end but what you need is either a clay bar or a synthetic clay towel or mitt and I got the clay towel sitting here in my wash bucket getting nice and lubed up and now you need some kind of lubrication because when you're, you're going to take the towel and you're going to rub it against the paint and you do want to be low careful because anytime you do that you will cause some marring to some degree and it doesn't matter how gentle you are every time you wash it dry there's going to be some minute marring that will occur the best you can do is try to reduce it as much as possible. Now, when you're using a clay, there's one or two things you can do. You can either A, use some kind of clay lube, and you can buy kits at the store, and they'll usually come with a quick detail spray, or you can uh, make your own. Like this is Eco Wash, uh, like two, three cap bowls, and the 32 ounce uh, pump sprayer. And just spray the surface and then rub it along. And you want to make sure the surface is nice and slick. So this way the clay won't uh, get stuck to the paint. Or if you want to go the extra step, uh, you need some kind of iron removal. Like this is a owner's spray Decon X. And you can find some in, in the store or Walmart. And you can also order other stuff online like this stuff right here. And what this does is when you spray and warning this stuff does not smell the best. I'm going to do this whole door right here. Okay, so it's been about 30, 45 seconds and bring you in and now you can see all those spots. Uh, this has a chemical in it that reacts with uh, the iron on the, on the brake dust, in the brake dust and reacts and starts to dissolve it and gives you this cool uh, purple streak streaking going down the paint. See, I did the whole car there. I mean, not the whole car, the whole door. And even some spots where you didn't up here, you couldn't really see that much uh, contamination, but you could feel it. If you get in close, you can see all the low dots everywhere. Even though we didn't see it with the eye, this is still dissolving the iron. And now it's been long enough. Now that it's, uh, it's dissolving, uh, with this stuff, you uh, you kind of do want to agitate a little bit, and either with a damp microfiber or even this when you take your clay mitt and you kind of once again you're not pushing hard you're just lightly rubbing against it your, your hand is just keeping it in place so it's touching the paint but not pushing in to the paint so this way the clay is removing even more contamination that the iron remover can't but it's also agitating it to help dissolve more of it even faster 
and not all and just warning not every uh iron remover out there can be used as a clay lube uh, a lot of them are now they're moving towards that but not everyone can this one i'm using by owner's pride can be i'm hoping i'm filming this correctly And now we're going to rinse that off. And here's your after. First of all, do a whole shot right there. And I got, did this whole exterior, wash, clay, iron, decon. And then I sealed this paint with Owner's Bride ceramic detailer. i bring you in a little bit. Okay, that's, I'm not sure what that is, but that's not, a, that's not actual iron deposit. I think that's a little paint chip right there. Oh, can you see it? There's one speck right there. I think it's actually a chip, not iron. But everywhere else, you can just nice and smooth. So this is the after results of uh, after doing uh, both uh, wa eco wash, use my iron decon, and then a clay towel across the whole whole paint. And after I did the final rinse, dried the vehicle, also uh, dressed the tires and the trim. And then I took it and I put ceramic detailer across the whole paint give it such great gloss thank you guys for watching i hope that was helpful like and subscribe see you next time